For five years I planned the perfect train robbery. It all went like bloody clockwork. We held up the train. We got the two million pounds and pressed her. We pulled off the impossible. All you had to do was keep your bloody mouth shut. If you did that, we wouldn't be eating porridge in a fucking Sheffield prison. We could have been eating caviar and drinking champagne in Hawaii, having a fucking foot massage in Barbados, but as soon as you got the money, you went to the pub and shouted the bar. The following day, you bought yourself a portion of Bentley, a pinstripe suit and a fucking top hat. You don't think for a single second the police didn't find it suspicious that a bloody plumber on a few quid a week would start acting like a multi-fucking millionaire three days after the biggest train robbery in history. They smelled a rat. Of course they smelled a fucking rat. You meant to lay low just as we talked about. But now you had to stand out like a fucking canary in a coal mine. And of course within days the police had someone an undetective, an undercover detective to follow you as you went from pub to pub. And bingo, within two days they had all the information they needed to come knocking on my bloody door and the whole thing unraveled. I was planning a whole new life for myself in Monaco as Lord Sainsbury. I was going to metamorphosize into a completely different character. I even had the elocution lessons. <clears throat> well, hello, sir. Hello, sir. How do you do, sir? I could have bloody done it. But instead, I'm staring at a fucking grey wall in the world's biggest <coughs> shithole for the next ten years of my life. And if I do devise a plan, you won't be hearing a bloody word of it.